uh, Dragon House's very own youngsters. Are you amateur yet? I am not. Go ahead and introduce yourself. What is your name? I'm Zach Tucker. I am a blue belt under Zong Lo. Um, I've been training at Dragon House for about two mic years check, now. Mike check, Mike check. All right, we got it going. The That's first good. fight of the night. Oh, a little the youngster, fight. future of MMA. Out of the blue corner. No, before you know, you're Cordero gonna Martial yourself. Arts, we have yeah, I know. Brian Bahena. Brian Bahena. Coming over from Cordero Martial Arts, 27 years old. Very energetic walkout. Oh yeah, he's ready for business. You know, sitting back there is probably the worst thing I'd say. The anxiety, prep for the event happens. After that first round, however, it's a different story. Usually way more lax, comfortable. All those nerves are shaking off. This is a stacked card. Oh yeah. Big shout out to our sponsors, MMA Raw for the photography. All of your all action right, all right, all right. can be found at MMARaw.com. Zeki Shield, been here since the first show. Sumit Paul. To meet Paul from Tosetti Institute, 28 years of age. Walking down to the cage right now, or about to. There he goes, in your red corner. I believe it's a debut. Debut, amateur fight. So that means that, as per camera, camo rules, these will be two minute rounds in uh, an MMA event we host here at Keys Art Pavilion. RCI, Rudolph Commercial Interior. California National Guard, always in attendance. American Red Cross, Hill Aesthetics. Go and talk to them and Bailey if you uh, want that upper body, lower body, uh, Ratio, do muscle ups and do impressive stuff with your hair. All right, all right. Representing first with the record of one win, two losses out of the blue corner. 135 pounds, Brian Triple B by Henna. All right. And in the red corner, making his amateur MMA debut. Before the match starts, notice there's a height difference here. See if uh, both fighters play towards their strengths in closing that distance. First round's underway. There you go. Two heavy leg kicks. Following up there. I mean, if. If your opponent's going to eat him to the thigh without checking, then, you know, serve him up. You get a little leeway, though, with the uh, shin guards. But you feel him in the later rounds. Bit of an exchange early on. Ooh, nice head kick. Couldn't quite tell if that right cross landed for Smith. Lots of roundhouses. These are two-minute rounds. Ooh, good scramble. And Sumit ends up on the bottom in a half guard. Right, Bahina working for, well, he's working to get out of that half guard right now. Sumit looks to be looking for a lockdown of some sort. He's going to want to worry about is that underhook. And he yeah. gets on top, and now he's in mount. It's the sweep. He's using those spider hooks yeah. to control the legs. He's going to want to posture up and keep his, his base nice and low. Samit has an underhook, so he's in a really good position here. He's going to want to slowly bring some pressure from the knees into his opponent's hips. Avoid that. That's sweet. Armbar position. Let's see if he goes for it. He doesn't. Oh, they're going to stop it here. Looks like it was an illegal kick to the body from Brian. He might have hit the head. That might be why they separated it. Can't kick. A down opponent to the head. You can kick the body though. Honestly, I wouldn't say that's blaming anyone's corner. It's amateur MMA. They're just in the heat of the moment there, trying to serve everything they can. So they're going to have some time to, or provide some time to Smith to catch his breath. And they're going to take a point from this round for Bryant.
Fight's back in progress. Brian's going to want to really want to work this round. Maybe get another takedown. Looks like Brian is really favoring those kicks. Oh, oh, and, he oh and he lands him. a right hook. Trying to go for the finish now. Sumit recovering with a single. Let's see if he goes. He gets a double. Hand, hands around. This might buy him some. This is going to buy him some time. He's going to have a lot of time to recover here. And it looks like the round is about to end. Yes. Kimura attempt by Bryant. That's got to give him some uh, some confidence for the next round. Wow. Okay. Zach. From your perspective on MMA, you're in Smith's corner. What advice are you giving him right now? I would be telling him to take it to the ground. It looks like he has a little bit more dominant gravity. At wow. least jujitsu wise. I'd agree with you there. His double leg wasn't bad right there. And now I'd be telling him to check those leg kicks. Seems fresh on his hand, on his uh, feet. Taking a low hand stance. Fainting for the the takedown right there. Bryant closing the distance quick with that right hook. Real confident with sense. Let's see if he goes back to the legs. Oh, he brings it up to the body. Nice roundhouse. That left hook looping. In the scramble though, you did notice that Bryant was able to secure the takedown. Summit lands a nice two and takes a big outside leg kick. And he switches to his southpaw. Looks like those leg Summit kicks are starting really to take low. effect. That kind of tells me he's thinking about a takedown. He's eating that, that thigh kick. That could be why he's switching stance. See the redness building up in his left thigh. And he's here against the Gets the takedown. Good body lock. A bit of a scramble there, but still, yeah. Secures the half guard. It Let's see him work. Bryant has a nice overhook controlling his posture, not letting him do any ground and pound. He has him in a full guard here. Sumit looking to get a position for some ground and pound and maybe make some space. See, at this point, he doesn't have to really pass. It's a good position for Samit. Just has to worry about that head posture and any he's submission He's looking for a diamond here. Looks like he's almost got a diamond. And he's going to get the sweep to escape temporarily. Samit jumps a, back. He's a little high on the back and loses position. I think we're going to see Bryant shrug he's, out of this one. He has an arm bar here. Arms. Oh, oh there we go. Able. And he gets it deep. Oh, saved by the bell. You know, it, it was deep, but it was in a position where I think even if the time went, the scramble would have allowed Bryant to kind of get out of that. You see, his wrist was turned, not completely locked. That was a beautiful arm bar. Nice attempt. Sweet. Take him to the ground, you know. We have another Dragon House youngster cleaning the cage. Perch, team packs, whatever you need. Big shout out to Critical Synthesis. Period. Big sponsor since day one. And the chance. Here we go into the third round. Just loves third round. Another heavy leg kick. Catches the leg, gets the body lock, and goes for the same Ends takedown. Up on bottom. He's not able to get full momentum to whip him around and uh, take top control, but he's in a half guard with the fence. Refs telling him to watch the feet in the cage. Yes, you can't you can't use your toes to grip the cage. You can kick off of it though. You can see Bryant climb, try to get the mount, and Bryant's in a good position right now. I think with that fence there, he's gonna be able to secure it, and he's there in a full mount. He's got some time to work as well. Looks like Bryant is trying to posture up here. He's gonna have to cross face. And he, you see him doing it with his right forearm right now, cross-facing. 
Can't hit in the back of the head. You want to be careful of that. You have to touch ear with every strike. You know, even though he's not giving him a lot of damage, he's winning the round for sure at, in this full mount position. Sameet looking to bump and roll here. Sameet, he does it. He's going to have to watch his left arm. And he secures the, the, he's in guard now, full guard. He's trying to pass. He should watch his neck here. Looks like he might be, looks like Brian might be looking for an omoplata. Sameet just has to watch that, uh, that space from that forearm for a little bit and then regroup and throw some ground upon. And he's, Oh, he's going to pass in a loose half guard right now. Oh, guillotine attempt by Bryant. It looks under the chin. Not quite super deep, but it's under the chin. If you can adjust, and that's under the round. That was a very good debut for some me. Definitely showcasing some legit wrestling. That's the thing about uh, your first few fights in uh, All right, Andrew. all right, give it up, give it up, give it up for that first fight of the night. Give it up, please. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the judges came to a conclusion. This will be a unanimous draw. Give it up for both fighters, please. Give it up for both fighters. You're all right there, you know, it's not bad. Sam Chevrolet, good striking from Bryant, great wrestling from Summit. Point deduction in the first round. 